I had some three hour sleeps in support stations um, near the beginning. I wanted to keep my, my sort of energy levels high. Um, and then as I went along, I didn't have a plan. I just slept what I thought was necessary. Um, but I also slept at times when it took me longer to get to the sports stations off the bike, like on the side of the road, just because I needed to. I was dangerously incompetent in that you zigzagging and you, at times you find yourself like blanking out. I've never done a race such as the one that I've just had now on the Freedom Challenge where I've had such an awesome WhatsApp fan club. I mean Jeannie put together and invited friends um, onto this group chat and the amount of um, positive energy that I got from it was just crazy. I actually used it as a means of in my darkest hours to lift me up. So I never read anything through the day but at night when I was wobbling off my bike or got hit by that headwind and couldn't uh, didn't think I could make it to the next support station because I was so shattered. I'd sit on the side of the road and I'll open my phone and start reading the WhatsApp and with friends saying, Mark, we believe in you, you can do it. It actually, it, it gave me a, a new sort of level to operate on in that it allowed me to step forward and get onto that, uh, get back onto my bike to get to the next transition when I think if I didn't have that chat group to fall back on, it would have just made it so much harder.